This is the newest Tarkov wipe, and these were my stats at the end of the first day. A 0% survival rating on my PMC. Something that has never happened to me before in my time playing this game. A large reason for this is the forcing of players to ground zero to get the initial tasks done, but other than that, death has had a vendetta against me this time around. And as demoralizing as it can be, and as badly as I wanted to rage and quit, one thing that makes Tarkov so special is the progression through struggle. The idea that as long as you persevere through whatever the game throws at you, there is a light at the end of this dark tunnel. And this story is me coming out of the other side. No matter how rough this video gets, I promise if you stick to the end, it will all be worth it. And we're going customs because ground zero is a crapshoot. I want to at least kind of get my feet wet before we go over there. Full auto. MA55. Everything feels good. My buttons had gotten redone, so we adjusted those, but we're in it. Not too late either, only like an extra hour or two from BSG's part before the patch got deployed and it installed nice and easy, so we're in baby, first raid. Loot actually matters, I gotta like be looking at me really careful now. Okay. Leave no trace. My sensitivity feels weird, ibuprofen, that's huge. Wait, oh yeah, the quest for, uh, for med items. Therapist that counts it. It could be on any map. Wait, scavs can be in here? Oh, hello. Day one is surviving. It doesn't doesn't matter what the raid is like. You just gotta survive. New animations for throwing? They look like the old animations from like Alpha. I killed that scav. I'm not checking them. Supplier. I don't want to engage if I don't have to. Like I said, survival is the most important thing right now. So if I can avoid a fight with a player, I'm going to. Like I said, I don't want to fight right now. I have no desire to be engaging in fights with other players. Every survive is so important at the start, so... The rain's gonna mask footsteps, so I gotta be really careful. Oh, wow, dude. What a shot. I didn't realize I was on single. I thought I was on full auto. I must have changed it again by accident. Oh, if I was on full auto, I might have got him, man. That's brutal. He just hit me right in the face with, like, the second bullet out of his gun. Damn, GG's. I mean, that's how it goes. Hate to see it. Alright, second raid. It's been a couple of hours because the servers are on fire, which is to be expected with a, uh, a wipe, but we're in. But we are on ground zero now, and we're probably going to die because this map is really brutal at the start, but we'll figure it out. He got the key, so he's going to open the door. I'm going to wait. Oh, okay. I got flanked, dude. Oh, man. This map is so brutal. <sighs> Can't lie, man. This has been... It's been a rough start. But maybe we can salvage this with uh, a good spawn at Terra Group. Okay, got the key at least. <clears throat> Not good. Oh my god, dude. Wow, this is a brutal start. Holy crap. I haven't survived yet. Do we just, like, avoid... I have to go here, but, like, maybe I go later. Maybe we try to, like, go some of the off areas. Now that, now that there's a lot, this map is small. Green flare extract is right there. People are trying it, and it seems really fun.
All right, well, we're gonna die here, so. Again. Oh, man. I, I hit his helmet so many times. That ammo, dude. All right, yeah, we need to take a break from Ground Zero. This map is really difficult. As you can see, the first few raids did not go as planned, and unfortunately, it was only going to get worse from here. But again, this is all about conquering the early game of Tarkov and coming out the other side. It doesn't spawn clothes normally. That's a bug. There's no way someone's in here. Yeah. That's a bug. Yeah, so that, that prone you might have just heard. Ooh. Um, that's a bug right now with audio. You'll just randomly hear the prone sound. It's half the reason why I came here. Audio is so weird now, man. Definitely gonna have to adjust to it. Oh, I didn't even see him. Okay. Wow, dude, this is terrible. Holy crap. Um... Will I survive this raid? I don't know. I'm gonna try. Oh, sorry, bud. I don't feel good about that one. Oh, but he has a desert freaking eagle. He already found it. Oh, look at this thing, dude. Jeez. <sighs> Big chungus. Wow. Sorry, man. I feel bad, but... It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world right now. <laughs> I, need, I need all the help I can get. Desert Eagle. Oh. He did a 180 instantly. That was cool. This. Okay. Wow. Tell me, dude, was that a sc This is crazy. That was a scab, yeah. No helmet. They've ever come. Alright. Yeah, see, I can't actually take it because I need to equip it and then put it on uh, an item slot. So I need a chest rig. Oh my god, man. I want to know how much damage I did to him. I had to hit him a couple times. I thought that first barrage was going to be good, but... stomach for two-thirds of this raid. Uh, 
and of course a player scab. Dude, I I'm done. I can't. Yeah, like I said, this gets really, really bad. And as frustrated as you can tell I was, I wasn't willing to give up. I'm quite stubborn with this game, and I'm willing to bang my head against the wall, despite probably needing to take a break and do anything else. Because I knew, as soon as I get through the Ground Zero quest, I was home free. And home was approaching sooner rather than later. the door first, I guess. Oh my god. I've only got one more quest on this godforsaken map, and then I'm off it forever. Let's see if we can bring it home. I know it's night, it's gonna be hard to see, I can try to fix that in post, but... Luxurious life, I gotta get the bottle, and I gotta get out. We gotta find this damned bottle. So you might want to look away if you don't like the screen getting flicked around a lot. Because I'm going to be wagging it. Trying to find this stupid thing. I need this. Oh. Alright, we're leaving. Alright, we're out. Oh my god, dude. We're done with ground zero. We're done. I did all the quests. I'm so happy. <laughs> it took me all day. Literally all day. So many, so many raids off camera. I don't even care if it's a run through. I do not care. My, my survival rate is already crap, but we're done. I can play the game normally now. I can go to customs. I can go to woods. I can go to interchange if I want, which I'm not going to do yet, but my, maybe even some, some reserve, some cheeky reserve. Oh, dude, that's the power of perseverance oh my god i was elated to have gotten off this map i struggled with ground zero last wipe and even more this wipe but with that i was off and free to enjoy the other locations as i please so i went to woods to try and get my compass as well as unlock ref now that he's in the game with this newest patch again like i said just today was today was tough man it was not easy to die almost 20 times trying to get like two quests done that's very demoralizing but you just gotta persevere man you just gotta push through it tarkov is one of those games where you can have the highest of highs and the lowest of lows and when you're on a, a bad streak you know sometimes you should take a break and go do something else for a little while which is what i did i you know made food and took a walk and stuff but just eventually you will you'll break the barrier like it's like a you know souls boss you're stuck on it you get angry you're trying to you know your first attempt was so good and then the subsequent ones suck and it's like do i suck it's just the game and then you get so deep in your head you don't you know really thinking about what's right in front of you so the way it's we're done don't worry about it we can continue on and try to just progress this wipe and try to have a successful successful raid Oh, I saw him. There was two of them. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, I saw him. That was bad timing. I saw one in the back going right to left, and then I saw one go uh, crouch and then take the shot. Wait, had Nate? Oh, there was one behind me. Oh, maybe it was just one. Damn. Okay. All right. Not a big deal. I'll have to run that back. I don't know how many more of these I'm going to show. Because I have like 16 of these recorded, so I don't, I don't actually know. Maybe we'll do a couple more. I hope you enjoyed this descent into madness that was getting Ground Zero done and out of the way. I know I'm not the only one who struggled on their first day, and if you did, maybe watching this helped you feel better about your performance. We all have our good and bad days in Tarkov. It's just the nature of the game. You never know what's around the next corner. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like this video and want to hear my thoughts about all the new changes that came with patch 0.15 in their own individual videos. And as always, I hope to see you in future ones.